skirt, skirt. Okay, Kitty. Yes, sir. Welcome to Tuesday, sir. The day after Monday. How are you feeling today? <laughs> <laughs> How are you feeling uh, today, yeah. man? It's another one of them days, man. Hey, another man. one of them days. Listen, man. I'm going to send out a petition. Let's uh, reorganize the uh, the the um, the uh, what is it? The Roman calendar. Is it the Roman calendar? Which one are we following? Yeah, we are following the Roman calendar, though. Is it the okay? It's a Roman calendar. You know, I was right about that one. But you know, I just want to rearrange it just so that you know, it's good that before you leave Earth, you have some sort of influence on something, you know. Yeah. And if you yeah. can change one day of the week. You have influenced everyone's life forever. Yes, sir. And that's one of my goals, you know. But we'll keep working on it. But well, what are we going to call today? <sighs> it's going to be called Yas Day, man. <laughs> I love Yas it. Day. love it. Yas Day. Because even, even, even more so, right, it's going to be called the Giveaway Day. Because if I jump over here, just give me a second here. Um, boom. We have our Cardano Giveaway. Yes, sir. Right. Love it. Love it. Let's Very, play. Dude, I'm so excited for this. I know now, I want to clarify. Yesterday, when we spoke about this, we said at 1,000 subscribers. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, we had to go back and really draft things out and make it look good. So we had, to, we had to do some technical analysis on the financial effect. <laughs> exactly. We had to do some technical analysis on the, on the numer numerical situation, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> on the subscriber numerical Yo, situation we, we're not giving that a lamborghini just yet this is this is one of our hey, first giveaways so look, man. i appreciate that little penny <laughs> look if you take the cardano and you hold on to it long enough and it has a massive it boom it might buy you a lambo one day you know yes, what i mean sir. so we don't need to buy you a lambo but you have the potential everybody has the potential to get a lambo you know but we are just doing our own small part to push along crypto adoption we're giving you a, a an appreciating asset, right? I, Instead of buying you a car, giving you a car. Thank you. We're appreciate. not giving you liabilities, man. Exactly. This, it's, called young people, and man. it's called young and successful for a reason, man. Yes, <laughs> I'm definitely excited for this. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you like and subscribe, really, it's just you just have to subscribe. You're automatically entered for an opportunity to win $250 of Cardano because we're going to be picking two winners, right? Yes. $250 each for a total of $500 uh, given away once we get to 5,000 subscribers. Right? Just like so, that. Just like that, man. Just like that. So let's jump right into the juice today. Today we're going to be looking at the markets, which has been interesting. Um, there's a story about uh, Bitcoin recovery, which I find extremely suspect. Right? We're going to talk about crypto rush, how it's like the gold rush. And again, this bloodbath that we're dealing with today and then some scribble analysis and we'll close it out there so guy okay, can you yes, take sir. it away man how is this market looking hey good news but some sad news right um the good news first right so uh p2c dominance is up one percent right and the term is old and strong but guess what happened today uh usually <sighs> the markets the stock market and yeah. the crypto markets went south this morning i mean b2c at some point was down as much as is it 12 or 13 percent yeah. It's creeping back up at the moment. It was down as far as 31,400 or so. I was watching Ethereum as well. Um, so, yeah, they all went south. Um, I think Ethereum was down as far as 15%. Yeah, it, uh, it, it, it did. Cardano was down there. as far as a dollar and 40, 40 cents or so. Did you yeah, buy some at the dip? I got some at that point, too, by the way. You know, whenever you say you buy something, when you bought something at a dip, you know what worries me about it? Uh, more dip is coming because more dips are coming. I was buying right before the dip. <laughs> I know you messaged me today. It's like, and then you messaged me and you were like, Hey, why is that every time I buy something at the dip, it turns to everything tends to go down some more? And I was like, Well, stop buying, <laughs> stop, stop uh, buying, man, so we can go back home. Bye. Hey, man, no, nah, I mean, hey, that is what it's about, man. That mental toughness, that strength. And we're going to talk a little bit more about that, yeah, yeah, yeah. but carry on, yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, as you can see, uh. Of course, the, the the coins that we are tracking, right. uh, Dogecoin is still at number six. Cardano is at number five. XRP is at number seven. Um, you know, today was a today was a very red day. Um, it was. Uh, but I have to say, it's actually recovering already compared to what it was uh, two three hours ago. Absolutely. Uh, so, yeah, you know, uh, there's if, a lot if, of. Uh... If you were actually trading these coins, um, if you did a call option on uh, a call option earlier in the day, you would have lost some serious money 
Uh, but if you play the puts, right. um, it'll, yeah, today will be a good day. Anyway, you know what I did today? I got yeah. some more AMC. That's what I did. Oh, uh, yes, I hey. am holding on to that thing and it is going to come through. It's going to come through for sure. Yep. Right. And that's the smart play. You gotta, you gotta play both sides. You can't just be in one wall. Exactly. Well, let's jump into some news here, man. You sent this one. The DOJ, Department of Justice, recovers sixty-three point seven bitcoins paid out in Colonial Pipe uh, Pipeline ransomware attack. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. What's going on here? Because I found this extremely suspect. Yo. So for me, right, we have to start finding the the. the the relevance of some of this news and finding the key info inside, right? right. So when this, it, when we had this uh, this pipeline issue, we started to have some literally some gas outage in my side of town. Uh, gas got super expensive. We're still recovering from those super expensive prices. Right. So yeah. So the word was all oh, two point three million dollars was paid in crypto to to to, to the company. And I was like, oh, interesting. And now this news comes out and said, oh, they've recovered the the, the crypto. They've recovered the crypto, and I was like, "How did that happen?" Exactly. Um, and then your analysis was totally different from mine because I'm thinking the federal government has adopted it, and this is great news for us. Right. Exactly. So when I saw this, right, for me, um, as, as I'm reading through it, what really caught me was this little paragraph here: the Justice Department, right, says it obtained the private key to the wallet hackers used to store the currency. So obviously, what happened is some people hacked. Uh, the pipeline shut it down and they had to pay a ransom so that they could release things again and at this point the justice department has conveniently obtained the private keys now if you're familiar with a crypto wallet when you create a crypto wallet you're given a set of keys about 24 of them right maybe 12 of them yep. depending <laughs> and they I tell you trying to use my keys <laughs> exactly like, oh my god this is so difficult right, right and you hear stories of people who lose their keys all the time and they're no longer able to access their wallets yeah. when you get your keys you're supposed to guard this thing with your life yes, right sir. now who gave the government the keys is what i want to know where did they get it from because here they just say they obtain the private key. How did you guys get it? Did you guys hack these accounts? Because now we know you can hack all of our accounts. Yeah, right. Yeah, that, 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 that becomes a major problem. It becomes a problem, right? And that yeah. goes against crypto. Yep, against so the what, science behind Exactly. What so what I want to know people. is how did you guys get the private keys, man? This is extremely suspect or was this orchestrated by you guys in the first place? No conspiracy theory, but I'm just trying to look for an answer. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. So that's yeah. when I saw this. Actually. Right. When I saw this, that is how I, I felt about it. You see know what I'm saying? Yeah. So anyway, uh, I would like to dig more into this. And hey, if anyone has some info on how this can be done, you know, or uh, anything that we don't know about this, please share with us in the comments. Hey. And another part of that could be, you know, that old out of gas probably got a lot of people to buy uh, Teslas and buy electric vehicles. Yes. Um, so I know you can also look at this news to say, hey, this is probably going to start driving folks towards EVs. Yeah. Which, which, which the next question would be, is it a good time to start investing in EVs? Because now, if oil prices are going up, uh, folks are going to eventually get tired of it and make the transition to EVs even quicker. Okay. I'll also add, or I guess I'll also ask, was it a scheme to drive spending? Because everyone is just sitting on so much money especially the one that uh, people have been saving from not working this whole time or from not going to work this whole time. For the sake of time, did you know that uh, Warren Buffett just put a lot of money, several billion, several billion dollars into this bank? I forgot the name of the bank. Is it the Brazilian uh, bank yeah, that is involved in uh, crypto as well? Oh, yeah. 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 Um, they just bought this major bank for several billion dollars. Mm. Um, uh, so people are not sitting on money anymore now. People are starting to act on on stuff exactly uh, so by the way there's also, there's also another new crypto that is going to be converting uh the conversion of uh, solar right to a token oh and dude so i saw that i saw that yeah. I would, oh, i'm so interested in i gotta do some more research on that dude i, I just kind of skimmed through it on uh on a coin coin cap the other day so uh crypto and the gold rush right you send this one tell us a little bit more about this 
so this goes back to that to that um uh, adoption chat that i that, that, that was shared the other from day. yesterday yeah yeah and the fact is that if you were in california in the 1800s right right you would have definitely benefited from the gold rush you might have gotten killed in the process <laughs> uh, but <laughs> your family would have probably made that out big if you found some gold that is true same thing that applies here in terms of crypto right um it's a uh, early technology and the adoption the adoption is coming in quick real fast absolutely and i would say i was around in i was around in the nineties during the dot-com boom and i was still a mm. child at the time still developing what was and that what was I that called advantage of those was that moments. called the uh what was that called when that uh in the early 90s was that the indo was that a digital yeah, revolution the bubble or the, uh, what revolution was that because you know they had the industrial, industrial revolution. revolution and the tech the tech revolution tech like revolution that. and yeah, what is what like is that. this going to be called then more uh, tech, uh, virtual, tech the virtualization revolution probably hey man more tech digitization more tech stuff. Digi revolution digital knows? revolution something like that yeah interesting yeah. okay well, yeah carry yeah. on so again this is another article that goes back to was why you have to look at the past to look at the present right and people want to use the story of oh remember that uh what's that story of the the flower that got super expensive and people were mm, overpaying for it yeah so it was uh, the tulips it, it crashed is the situation yeah, yeah, the with tulip the tulips story. Yeah. So you have to choose which story you want to pick for the current situation, but I do not think this is a tulip uh, historic situation going on here. Right. Um, well, I would say um, you want you want to because even with the tulip situation, right? It was also a matter of early adoption. Those who got into it early were able yeah. to make uh, those early gains. I hate that we're calling the tulip story because I just read that book too, man. You sent it to me the other day there, and yeah, yeah. oh man. I just, I, I just get the knowledge out of it. Not exactly. The <laughs> exactly. I know, dude. I suck at remembering the names of books and movies and things like that. But yeah. I am going to drop the name of the book here uh, if anyone is interested in reading up, reading about it. Uh, but it's yeah. just trading psychology at the end of the day, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, getting into things at the right times and not following the crowd. Because at some point, there is that point of diminishing returns, right? And when that yeah. starts happening, it's a bloodbath. Yeah. Even the even that adoption chart that that we showed the other day also showed this shows it like there's gonna be a serious hype section where you make a lot of money right and then once it becomes a numb it just either flattens out or grows high slowly or goes down exactly. it all depends right yeah, so exactly. yeah so speaking of bloodbaths. Mm. <laughs> Today was one of those, man. Dude, I like how they use the picture of the blood there. Is that even blood? I think it's like some paint. Yo, that looks like... That doesn't man. look like paint. That they're looks staining, like blood. They're staining the wood floor, man. Is that on a wood floor? Anyway, yeah, you we're getting... You can't escape a, escape a <laughs> criminal investigation. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, crypto markets dumped 200 billion in bear driven bloodbath. Listen, man, this thing was obvious here. As you can see, a lot of the charts were just kind of... No, slamming down uh, this morning. Oh, where am I even? This is. Let's go to crypto and take a look at it. It's, as you can see, everything is you know heavily red, and that's what this morning has been, right? However, this is what I want to talk about in this in this in this situation. Apparently, there's a thing called the Elon effect now. We know how I feel about that. We kind of kind of spoke about it yesterday. I'm not going to go into it again. But this is what I want to say about this situation. When the markets are down, right? When things are looking rough. When the blood is on the streets. When the blood is on the streets. Yes, sir. <laughs> this is the time that millionaires are made. On your wooden okay. floors. <laughs> on your wooden floors. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, man. This is the time where you want to hang on to that cash, man. And, 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 and just keep averaging down. And load more. You know, people, people complain when, when, when Bitcoin was at like 50K. 60k everyone was like oh i missed it at this i missed it at that there were people who said they missed it at 30k well the thing is trading close to 30k right now what would be your reason for missing it again you right? can say that trading and investing is a psychological warfare it is. Right? it is so you have to flip your brain from the norm yeah to uh, an investor type of norm which yeah. is the scary part like literally yeah. i just worked really hard worked my brains up for a lot of money 
and I'm buying stuff that is crashing. And folks are like, yeah. yo, you crazy? <laughs> you just go buy yourself a new car, you know, enjoy life, buy a new t-shirt. Hey, man. It comes... And I'm like, yo, man, I, think I want a better tomorrow, yo. Exactly. It comes down to that uh, that idea of that delayed gratification, right? Yes. Um, yes. People want it now. People want to be able to buy stuff and then let it just start ri- rising right away. And they feel good about it. Look, man, when things like... When the market is green, everything is looking good people will not stop messaging me man all the chat groups are blowing well, yeah, up we've, we've, we've not got it in the coast bro <laughs> it's been pretty quiet man what happened have you guys forgotten about me it, uh, it's weird uh-huh. man listen man if you are out there you know that you know that this is you i'm talking about man hit me up i miss you okay <laughs> 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 hit me up don't only hit me up when the market is green man because now what is going to happen is when the market turns green i'm not going to answer my phone anymore oh, so. man, it's all exactly. <laughs> oh man that's funny man but the whole point is um hold people average down and uh things will turn around is what yeah, i'm saying we are no financial advisors but we've read and we've studied hey. and what we've learned is that this is how the best to make it this is when they make the best out of things exactly so again not financial advice you know, uh, do your own research and, and make your own decisions there so we're going to do some screw analysis i like to well i don't think much has changed from yesterday except now yeah we can see yeah, that yeah. bitcoin when it comes is falling to bitcoin we, we, we did mention yesterday that 30 was a very strong resistance right um, um now so there is there's been some the, uh, there's been some yeah. some news out there that uh, some people believe that this is going to be falling down to 25 25k now for me i thought that if it was going to go to a worst case scenario as you can see i have my line there at 22 i felt like it was going to be 22. now i'm trying to figure out why they would say where, 25. Where, where where in the chart is that and so 25 is let me uh let me uh let me drop a line there so everyone can see what it is um so I'm gonna put a horizontal line here. That is 25. Right there. 25, right? Uh, and I'm just gonna make that one for now. We'll just make it this yellow. So check this out. When I when I was looking at my worst case scenario, when I was doing an analysis for worst case scenario, I put the resistance line there or the support line at 22, right? Because I'm looking to the left and I see this support level right here around that yeah. 22 level. Now, as I move to the left. I do not see any point where or any reason why this is going to stop at 25 if it was to start falling at 25 yeah. right do you see what I'm, I'm saying there what is your take on it yeah so um i looked what, the, another article i read said 27. right 27 kind of makes sense but 27 doesn't look like a strong base hmm. it was just a two or three uh candles maybe two candles in that section that is so you can't really use that as a support, right? Yeah. Uh, when I look at 25 as well, that would not be a support at that level. Um, 25 is not as strong a support as 22 is. But then something drastic has to happen for it to go to 22. I mean, so, I mean, something and the can happen. the scenario is that 15 range down there, which is... Hey, that is, you know I mean, years. that is like big 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 bloodbath <laughs> you know what i mean like yeah. the whole everything everything is just gonna go to heck but um that is you know again there's a possibility of it uh we just have to wait and see man because things are just being very shady right now in the market yeah so yeah, yeah. uh we'll just wait and see let's jump into ethereum ethereum is sort of uh, a similar deal uh obviously kind of we had that entry signal but then it got rejected uh, around that 28 uh, 2850 uh, level there and it just started falling um so we'll see what happens with this as well but look, Looks, look at the squeeze though it's still, it's still trying to squeeze yeah but i think it should have crossed by now you know what i mean plus we have we're looking at those two red dots there on that ttm and uh yeah, rsi still facing down below 50. yeah so i expect it at least you know maybe i, I just want to see a little bit more momentum Right, it just seems the buying pressure is not there right now to yep. to make it move so um i would definitely like to see that uh before we uh move forward now um let's see so um if we look at cardano this is an interesting one because this started dropping 
aggressively uh this morning well i say aggressively but it's just more like somewhat of a pullback right we're at we're at 170 something earlier in the day and now um it seems to not really have that momentum to the upside anymore however i think it is definitely a great time to be getting into some uh cardano uh let's see here and you you kind of pointed this out yesterday as well that the chart was showing that it was going to move down some uh before moving up go ahead yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so when, when we drew the line yesterday if you go back to uh, if you look at the daily uh um yeah that 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 red line was still there right so there was still that big chance of right. it going down and then we got that two 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 minute signal um but then we had the two down two down following that so yeah absolutely but so, i think again on the daily it's still showing a strong possible uh squeeze of course we'll get it there so we'll yeah. see it looks good i mean it's just kind of stable like i said it's uh, things are just kind of shady right now in the markets uh yeah. but uh for me this is just a time of just um saving cash and averaging down once we once we feel like we are looking at some sort of a bottom or some sort of a support level yeah uh, I, I don't know what the bottom is so i'm just gonna keep spending until i'm broke <laughs> 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 now nah, you wait for it man because it, when you keep spending it keeps dropping yes <laughs> it seems that's what is happening so <laughs> well, get this fine yeah. man get ready for the, for hey. the, the next day <laughs> but I, w- I will say this though i will say this it will turn around and when it turns around dude big six figures bro <laughs> big six figures it's gonna be amazing all right so um dot is another one that i, th- I feel like you know it's f- considering yeah. you know I'll, okay i'll be honest dude. when i bought when i bought dot it was uh i think it was it was at 30 dollars right so for most of my dot uh car- or most of my poker dot ownership i've mostly spent my time <laughs> averaging down on it so uh but i kind of got into it you know late it, it wasn't in, you know early in the early in its in its rising phases so yeah but that's one of those ones i'm just i'm just i'm just hanging on to it and i'm waiting to see and there's been some good news about it so there is that now before we close things out here the final one we want to look at is matic all right go for it kenny i i think this is still an uh, early early stage <laughs> coin <laughs> that's right. why i like it <laughs> Okay. So, uh, so I'm keeping a very close eye on it, and uh, I'm I'm loading on, I'm loading on to it as well. Oh, definitely, not wrong with that. I gotta get into some of that too, man. Um, yep. I mean, this thing seems like it's been moving. Let's see. Yep. And um, and when 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 it goes sideways, uh, that's definitely a good time to get it as well, because it's getting ready for that movement. Exactly. So, um, six hundred and eighteen percent increase so far since April. Uh, 26 so yeah hopefully it's not moving down aggressively like the rest of them are so it's quite more stable this is true hopefully it holds it there and hopefully it keeps moving up i'm going to be keeping an eye on that as well so definitely a good one well that is all we have for this one ladies and gentlemen remember like, we have a uh a giveaway giveaway going giveaway on. day exactly five up to five hundred dollars uh of cardano will be giving away once we get to five thousand subscribers okay kenny what else like and subscribe absolutely <laughs> say. and there you go and share our videos until next time j1 brazen out double up